Good evening, and welcome to Wednesday Night Worship. I believe with all of my heart that God has called you and me to go out into this world and share His love and His truth with His people. One of the best ways to get to know and grow closer to God is to open up our Bibles. I believe this with all of my heart. So here's the deal. Last week at Vacation Bible School, our pastors did an amazing job bringing the Bible stories to the kids' hearts. And after the pastors shared, one of my boys said, Dad, why can't the lessons be shared like this all the time? You see, these lessons came to life. They spoke into their hearts. And this is my prayer not only for our children, but also for you. So for the next few weeks, sit back and enjoy as our pastors share their creativity and their hearts as they share Jesus with not only our children, but also you. Today we're going to hear about the story of Jesus when he went on the water. And you know, in Minnesota, we got a lot of lakes. This is one of them. And I can't imagine what it would be like back then without any lights, no flashlight, nothing, in the dark to be out on that lake at 2 o'clock in the morning rowing. Now, if you look in the back of my little pontoon, you can see I row like this. Like I said, it would be really hard to row out here in a storm. And all they had were oars. And in the middle of the night, Jesus came to them, and they were absolutely scared out of their mind. And so they were out there, and all of a sudden, it things started rocking, and the water was going over the front and the side, and they were scared to death. And boy, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be out there in a storm like that. Would you? And then they looked out and in the, out in the storm, here comes Jesus and he's walking on the water and they think it's a ghost. I don't blame them. And then they were terrified. And the first thing Jesus said, do not be afraid, it is me. And then Peter says, Lord, if it's you, let me come out on the water with you. And you know what Jesus said? Come on, Peter. So Peter went to the edge of the boat and he opened up the thing in the storm and he did something I'm not gonna do. He stepped right out on the water. And he started walking like these lily pads. He started walking to the Lord. But then all of a sudden he looked around and he saw the storm. And I'm sure there was lightning and I was certainly wind. And all of a sudden he looked around and said, what am I doing out here? This is crazy. And he started to sink. And when he started to sink, well, it wasn't good. And he said, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus grabbed right below his wrist. And he grabbed him and saved him. And, the, and then he said, Peter, why don't you believe in me? Here you're walking on water with me. Why don't you believe in me? And you know why he didn't? because he got scared, and so do we. But every time we say, Jesus, help me, Jesus, save me, Jesus, forgive my sins, Jesus, be with me, it's just like Peter. His hand immediately comes to us, and he brings us in, and then he loves us. So then what happened was the two of them came off the water together and they got back in the boat and then all of a sudden the wind ceased and the sea was like this lake and it went from a storm to a perfect calm and you know what the disciples said well what would you say if you were in the boat you know what they said? You're God's son. No doubt about it. 
You are the Son of God. Amen.